Hi guys, it's Debbie and uh, from What's Mama Cooking For Us and I'm going to start doing some vlogs but today I'm looking for a little, well, midnight snack and I haven't been to the grocery store but I do have some things. So I have some crackers, um, tuna in the pantry, I always keep tuna in the pantry and I had some bread and butter pickles so I'm going to chop them up and put them in my tuna and I had these onions actually in my freezer and they've all thawed. I just took them out not even three minutes ago and they thawed right out. And they were all diced anyway, so I think I'm going to put them in there because I'm out of uh, onions. But yeah, let me get these cu um, pickles cut up and... Okay, okay so, I just gave, so I oh, excuse me, just gave them all a rough chop. They don't have to be any specific way, but they're bread and butter pickles. And I love to eat them on my tuna fish sandwich anyway, so I either put them on the sandwich after I make it. So, I didn't have many onions like to cut up, just a small amount. So, I figured what I would do is just do that. So, um, what I have here is albacore tuna. That's the only kind of tuna I'll eat. And I'm going to drain all that juice out of there. And um, I'm also cleaning out my mayonnaise. But I had a fresh one in the pantry. Hellman's, of course. But I'm going to clean this one out. And I'm just using this. And it always makes me think of my grandmother, Polino. Her name was Rose. And she used to always have a huge spatula, bigger, way bigger than this one. And she was always cleaning out containers and getting to the last drop. I don't know if that's from uh, from back in the day when they were always trying to, you know, make everything go as far as possible. Or if she, if she, that's just how she was. But I can always remember with a huge spatula cleaning out everything. I mean... There would be not a drop left in there. I'm going to get a little bit more out of there, but she wouldn't leave a drop. And um, I just got back from vacation. I was in Tennessee, down visiting my son and his wife, my new daughter-in-law. Her name's Taylor. Hi, Taylor, if you're watching. And Joey, Giuseppe. And um, like I said, this is just a little midnight snack. And uh, use what you have on hand and be creative. I mean, you don't have to make anything special. Just throw something together and you never know what's going to come out to be. It might be good. It might be okay. But, hey, at least you, you know, got something. To okay. okay. You could get a strainer and strain it. But I'm just going to take the top. I still have the top on there. Like, it's cut off. Or I, I took it off. With the, cut off. I took it off, you know, with the thing. The can opener. But I'm just going to squeeze as hard as I can. I turn it and go around all the sides. And it's, you can get out a strainer. But why bother? So just keep squeezing as hard as you can. And if you can't get it all out, I take the top, turn it around another way, and start going again the other way. It usually works pretty good. This is how I always used to do it growing up, living at home or whatever. Now I kind of get the strainer out, and I like to break my tuna up anyway because I do not like big chunks of tuna. And my kitchen's a mess. And I think in the morning, because it's dark out right now, <laughs> um, I'll, um, gonna, I'm going to come on and do some vlogging and show you guys some of the cleaners I use when I clean. And that my house does get a mess because everyone thinks, you know, I live alone and that I don't have no messes. But let me show you the mess I got right now on my counter. See that? I just brought all this junk out. I've been unpacking and so yeah. All right, and I think that's good. So let me get that in the bowl. And okay, so then I just go in and I break it all up. Nothing serious. I already put some mayonnaise in here because I was cleaning out that mayonnaise jar. And as you can see, my grandmother would be proud. I got it pretty empty. That's good enough for me. <laughs> and I don't like to waste Hellman's anyway because Hellman's is the best mayonnaise. And it's expensive. Oh, sorry if there's a shadow. It's dark in here. But so, yeah. And then, um, let me keep, um, okay, so the light is horrible in here. But I have three lights in my kitchen. One of the bulbs is out. But so I got that all broke up and I put about, a, um, maybe a half to three fourths cups of mayonnaise. We'll see how much we need. And then we're going to put all these onions in. Oh, and they're a little 
wet, so I'm going to drain them a little. But I got to have that flavor. I don't think I can eat onions or tuna without onions. So, but I like to have the contrast of like something crunchy. And then we're going to put those bread and butter pickles in there, which I love for sandwiches. Let me wash my hand. Well, I should say rinse my hand. Okay. Yep, and I got a sink full of dirty dishes. That's okay. Let's put in some pepper. A lot of pepper. I like a lot of pepper. And a good amount of salt. Because tuna and salt mm, and pepper, yes. Gotta have it. Right, okay, actually, I like to put this in the refrigerator and let it sit, especially overnight. But for at least a little, about a half hour or so, so it can all, you know, just everything, you know, marries up or whatever you call it, marinates together. But I'll just show you how I'm doing this. I'm not even going to dirty up a plate. I'm going to use a cutting board so I don't have to waste a plate. And all I have to do is wipe that cutting board off. Let's get a nice scoop. We're not using a knife. We're just doing it like this. Get another scoop. And this bread was in my freezer. I was going to have those crackers, but I had bread in the freezer. And if you have a little lettuce, but I don't have any, put some lettuce on there. Or tomatoes. I don't have any of those either because I got to get to the store. But use what you got and make it up. And let's see how this is going to taste. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm, delicious. Mmm. Oh, it's actually very good. The pickles, those frozen um, onions that I just let sit for a couple minutes. All right, easy recipe. Give it a try. I love tuna fish. and um, Or you can eat tuna with um, just a, a bed of lettuce with some tomatoes, cottage cheese. Oh, my God, I love that. And uh, I got a nice ice glass cold, ice cold glass of water. And I'm just going to enjoy this midnight snack. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Let's get that bounce out of there. I don't want that in my picture. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to show you some cleaning in the morning. And I even went over to my son's house and did a little cleaning today, which I only can do a little at a time. But I got yeah, some and I just wanted to show you guys. I made it in this little container. These are called ball containers. And they're made by ball. You see that? And I love them. They just sit on there. You press it down. You don't have to fight with it. Oop, it didn't go on. You don't have to fight with it. You don't have to seal it. Nothing. It's just on. And then to take it off, it basically pops right off. Look at that. You don't have to fight with it. But I haven't been able to find them. But you can probably go online and find them. But this sandwich is actually delicious. I just took another bite and I'm in love with this. Mmm. Mmm. It is really good. Okay, guys. See you in the morning for some cleaning tips.